A company making lithium battery cells here in Henderson just opened its second factory. But just how important is lithium to Nevada? Our state is home to the only operating lithium mine in the United States, and it's an element in high demand across the world. I think we're going in the right direction. David Olzens lives in Henderson and uses lithium battery powered tools every day. He says having more companies manufacturing these batteries is great. Uh, the lithium's really great. You know, it's a quarter of the weight, lasts longer, charges faster. Lithion, a company making lithium battery cells, opened its second factory Wednesday. We don't do any EVs, we don't do any passenger vehicles, but we try to electrify everything from rail cars to home energy storage to marine vessels and pretty much every market in between. And more is coming. The U.S. Department of Energy says in Nevada, state agencies must have all zero emission vehicles by 2050 and car manufacturers must meet zero emission production and sale requirements starting now. Our state has an abundant supply of this precious element and the only sanctioned mine in the United States. But how safe are lithium batteries? There's a lot of different types of lithium ion batteries. So there's what we do primarily is iron phosphate. So it's lithium iron phosphate, which is inherently safe. Lithion executives say the recent truck crashes earlier this year, causing hazardous lithium fires that shut down the I-15 and US-95, likely involved a more unstable lithium battery used for EVs and cell phones. But it's really the cobalt in those batteries that make them a little bit more unstable. But Lithion Senior Vice President of Power Sources, David Hodge says, as technology for the production of lithium advances, so it is the option to recycle the batteries. You know, lithium and, uh, you know, everything that goes into the active uh, materials in a battery don't go away with, with age. Hodge says you'll likely see more companies finding ways to recycle these elements and finding safer battery sources. Reporting in Henderson, I'm Ryan Ketchum.